Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to do a video kind of about my eyeshadow palettes. So originally I had planned a different video for today. I was going to do a tutorial, kind of first impressions, on some of the Too Faced Sweet Peach collection items, but I've been fighting a very horrible cold the last few days, which is why there was no video up on Monday, which I apologize for. So I decided I wanted to do a little bit more of a relaxed kind of video and just kind of hang out with you guys. Um, I wanted to do like a makeup collection slash declutter series on our channel. So today's going to be eyeshadow palettes. I will say that I have quite the collection of eyeshadow palettes. It's one of those things <laughs> that I really love about makeup. I love eyeshadow palettes. So I'm not sure how many of these are actually going to be decluttered, but I did want to share with you guys some of my favorites and, you know, some of the things that I have in my collection. <clears throat> okay, so we're just going to dive right into this. And I have two places that I keep my eyeshadow palettes. So one on my setup of my desk over there, I have a shelf with this big giant <sighs> bucket in it. It's very heavy. And this is where I keep all of my palettes that I like, but are not like new and like oh my gosh anymore so they're palettes that I love obviously because I still have them I own them but they're not ones that like I'm testing out or they're not ones that are new that are like up on my desk um but I still love them so I still want to keep them well most of them we're gonna we're gonna find out in a few seconds and then on my makeup shelf I keep oh my gosh all of my new palettes that I'm testing out and just some of my like all-time favorites in this little like file organizer desk thing. I don't know. I got this at Home Goods. So that's where I keep those. And I also um, have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette that I was gonna do that video on. That I keep um I keep this like really new things that I want to do videos on on my desk in a separate basket, but I just pulled this out so I could show it to you guys. Alright, let's dive in first to the palettes that are like up on my shelf and kind of my new palettes and the palettes that I love. Because I feel like that will be the easy part of this video. So, <laughs> this little thing is so heavy, and it has like three little slots. So, the back slot is where I keep all of my like big palettes. There's actually only two back here. And then in the middle slot, I keep like medium sized palettes, and then in the front is like smaller palettes. So, I don't even know what's in here. Like, ugh, we're just gonna dive in. So, in the back section, I have two palettes, and the first one is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. That was, like, just released at the beginning of this year, a few months ago. I don't even know anymore. Um, this is what it looks like. I'm sure you've all seen this. I think we did a first impressions video on this. I believe we did. So I keep this in here just because it's a really good, like, universal palette. I mean, there's pretty much every color you could ever imagine in this palette. So I like to keep this up on my desk just because if I'm looking for, like, a pop of color or something very different, I know I can reach for this palette. The next one that's also with my Jaclyn Hill palette is just my Z palette. And this isn't full, but <clears throat> I just have some of my, like, well, I have all of my loose eyeshadows that I own in here. These are all ColourPop over here. And then up here I have some random ones. So I just have, like, a bunch of super random um, shadows in the Z palette. I need to buy more of these so I can, like, fill this up and make it look, like, pretty. But it's, like, pretty thick, so I just keep that in the back with my giant Morphe palette. So now on to the next middle row, and I only I have four palettes in here. So this is where I have two palettes in here that are like my all-time favorites. They're ones that I reach for like all the time, and then I have two other like random palettes. So the first one is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye, and for a while this was my all-time favorite like all matte palette. Um, I feel like everybody needs to have like a favorite all matte palette because they're just so universal. So another palette in here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. And this is another staple one in my makeup collection. This is a palette that I reach for all the time. No matter how long I've had it, it's still one of my favorites. <clears throat> That's what it looks like. Obviously, you've seen this a million times. You know all about this palette, I'm sure. <laughs> but I love warm eye eyeshadows. Like, they're the ones that I reach for the most. So I really love this palette. I love the range of colors you have. I like that you have mattes. It's mostly mattes, but then you have a few shimmers to pop on the lid. Um, this is my go-to palette, like, my go-to palette when I'm traveling. Because I know that no matter what, I can make, like, a ton of different looks out of this, and they'll all be beautiful. The last eyeshadow palette I have in here is the Pure Sorry Diaries palette that we just got in our BoxyCharm. And I want to play more with this palette. I used it in my BoxyCharm, like, try-on. But since then, I haven't really touched it, mostly because things have been crazy in my life and I just haven't been doing like full glam makeup a lot. I've been going for a more like natural look, no makeup makeup, so I haven't really gotten to play with this that much. 
but it's up here because I really, really want to. I think these shadows are incredible. Um, I love the tones, the shades, I love the range, so I really, really want to play around with this more. So next up we have the ABH Subculture Palette, and I just use this in kind of like a first impressions video. And I actually do really love this palette. I do agree there are some issues with it. Um, the light shades are incredible. Roxy, Dawn, New Wave, those are like my all-time favorites. Those three like are beautiful. They blend so easily. And Adorn is, a, it, it's like my favorite like creamy, um, like glittery metallic eyeshadow. It's a beautiful. It It's amazing. But I do know, I do realize that there are some issues with the darker colors. They're not as blendable. They're not as easy to blend as the lighter shades. Which you do have to be careful with them and it is just a little bit more work, which I don't mind. I think the colors are beautiful and I just really like the tones of this palette. So I'm not like horribly mad at it. Like you just have to learn how to work with them. Next up, we have my three, oh gosh, we have my three ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. So the first one is the Yes Please palette. This is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. I love this palette. Um, and this I keep up here because it's small, it's compact. I like having them at the ready just in case I need to run out somewhere and it's like a quick trip and I just grab it. I love this palette. The shadows are amazing. ColourPop knows what they're doing. It's so affordable yet yeah, so great. So I love having this one right at the ready in front of me. And then two recent purchases of mine were the She Femme Rosa palette and the I Think I Love You palette. And I actually have not played around with either of these yet. <clears throat> me and Lynn want to do a first impression on one or both of them. We're not really sure yet. So I haven't touched them yet, but I'm really excited too. Their shadows are incredible. They're amazing. I love them. This is like me in a palette. Like I'm so excited to play with this and these tones are so pretty. I normally don't go for like rosy cool tone shades, but I think this palette is beautiful and I'm so excited to like branch out. So the last few palettes that I have <clears throat> are two of my favorite compact palettes and this one is the Dose of Colors Baked Browns. Now, when I'm traveling somewhere and I know that I'm not going to be doing like full glam makeup, I like bringing this palette because it's so easy to just like pop in your crease or pop anywhere. I love warm browns. This is like made for me. So this is just such an easy palette. I know I can make like such pretty looks with this. And so this is like my go-to when I'm traveling to places where like I don't need like full glam. Um, but I love these shadows. They're super easy to blend. There is a little bit of fallout with these. Um, they're super soft. But, I mean, I don't mind that it's powder that you're putting on your eye. Like, yeah, there's going to be fallout, whatever. I just, I love these shades. Um, so, I love, love, love this palette. And actually, the brush that comes with this palette is amazing for, like, your lower lash line. There's a tip for you guys. So, that's one of my favorite compact palettes. And then next up, we have the e.l.f. Mad for Matte 2 palette, which I can never get open. That's what it looks like. This is another one of my favorite all matte palettes. I mean, the colors are incredible. Um, perfect for fall. I love these shades. So, And then the last palette that I keep up on my shelf is the Dose of Colors um, times Katie times Desi collab palette. And they're just four pressed shadows. There are two that you're supposed to use wet and two you can use dry. And I love these shadows. I think they're amazing. I love bringing this and then just one of my full matte palettes um, when I go places. Because they're just beautiful pops of color on the lid. And this one is my all-time favorite. I think this is Noli. Right? If you were reading this, the one that's on the back would be... I don't know. But the brown. The one, the brown one is my all-time favorite. I haven't gotten to play around with the darker shades yet. Mostly because I'm a scaredy cat with when I, it comes to, like, experimenting with eyeshadow sometimes. <laughs> so I stick to my true, like, brown warm tone shades. But they're so beautiful. They're beautiful swatched. I... Just I love them, so I'm hoping to play with this more. That was all of my favorite kind of eyeshadow palettes I keep at the ready for when I just need to get ready fast and quick. Um, those are the ones that I reach for most often. So now we're going to move on to the big bucket that I keep on my uh, at my desk. And this is all my other palettes. This is all the overflow. And there are a ton of amazing palettes in here. I call it my overflow just because, you know, you buy new things and you buy too many new things and yeah. Anyway, so on the one side I have all my like big to medium sized palettes and then on the other side is all of my small palettes. 
So we're just going to start off by just pulling things out. I know I said this was going to be kind of a declutter video as well, but I'm not really sure how many of these are actually going to be decluttered. So we're just going to... Shh, it's fine. So the first thing in here is my Morphe <clears throat> 35R palette. So this is what it looks like. It's just a bunch of very neutral, um, brown toned eyeshadows. I love it. It's a beautiful palette. Um, this is like my go-to fall palette. They're just the perfect fall shades. I don't know. I just love them. So another Morphe palette that I have is this one. And this is the... I don't know. I have no idea what this palette is called. It's when they... I think it's the Copper Spice one. It's when they did those two, like, palettes in the fall last year. I, I got this one and Lynn got the other one. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've never even really used this. At all. I bought it and then it just kind of like, I don't know, I don't know what I did. I just didn't didn't really use it. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put this on my 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 shelf and hopefully it'll it'll get used. I have this huge problem where I just buy eyeshadow palettes cuz like I just need them. I just, I just think I need them and I really don't. I don't need them. Um next is another Morphe palette and this is my Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. This palette I used a lot. This is another palette that I love to travel with because, again, it's all of my favorite tones in one palette, but there are still these, like, pops of color that you wouldn't expect that can make some really, really great looks. So I love traveling with this one. It's compact. Um, it's easy to travel with. Um, I think she did an amazing job picking out these colors. There's warm toned eyeshadows. There's cool tone. There's these pops of color. There's a true black if you're into that. I'm not, but some people are. Most people are. I'm weird. So I really, I really, really love this palette. I need to put this back up in my... I need to reevaluate my palettes here. Alright. <laughs> the next one we have is the Huda Beauty Textured Shadows Palette in the Rose Gold Edition. This is what it looks like. I When I first bought this palette, I was like obsessed with it. I really, really loved it. And the shadows are really, really great. So the re reason I bought this is really because of these shades right here. But it is a really great palette. I know they just dis discontinued it because they came out with the Desert Dusk. I believe that's what it's called, palette, which looks absolutely gorgeous. Not the looks that I'm really into. I don't really wear a lot of um, purples and pinky eyeshadow colors. Uh -huh, I'm sure you know. But it, it looks beautiful. I mean, props to Huda Beauty. Like, she comes out with the most beautiful shades. So I do really love this palette. Obviously, I have a ton of eyeshadows that look like this, these mattes up here. But the formula is really great, even though I have a 20 other eyeshadows that probably look like these right here. Like, I don't even care, because they're that good. And I really love these textured shadows. I know some people are iffy about them because they are a little different and you, it, yeah, they're a little weird to work with. You have to use your finger. But I'm not afraid of that. I don't mind digging my finger in and just like popping it on the lid. I hate that I just push things to the side and like don't really use them to their full potential. So I need to break this one out again. So next up is this Pixie plus it's Judy Time eyeshadow palette. And I bought this at Target. And, like, it was, like, $26 or something, which is crazy for a, like, affordable brand eyeshadow palette. I don't know. I wasn't, like, blown away by it. But the colors are just so pretty. Like, I love the shades in here. I just wasn't... I don't know. I bought it. I used it a few times. It just wasn't my favorite formula, I guess. But I love the shades, and I cannot bring myself to get rid of it. But you're so pretty, but why don't you work for me? Next up is the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. And I really, really did love it. I love this palette. The shades are beautiful. The mattes are beautiful. The shimmers are beautiful. I just, again, it was one of those things that, like, it fell back into my collection and didn't really get as much use as it should have. So <clears throat> I definitely want to keep this in my collection and play around with it more. I think these colors are beautiful. This would be a great palette, again, for travel because it's so, like, compact and small. So next up is the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette. And I think I got this... You know what really makes me angry? When they make mirrors that don't open up all the way. So, I bought this palette when they were doing their friends and family. It smells like vanilla. And I was like, I never tried a tart, full tart palette before. I have this little mini one, and I, I love this palette. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get a full tart palette. I can't say I was blown away by this. I don't know what I was thinking. I like warm toned brown eyeshadows. 
and these are like really cool toned. <laughs> like, who did I think I was? But it is a really pretty palette. It's just not the palette that I normally go for. So when I bought it and used it a few times, I was like, eh. But that just tells me that like I need to branch out and be more open to cool tones and start, you know, doing things other than just the same old, same old that I do. So next up, we have my two Too Faced palettes, and I have the Sweet Pea pa Pea. <laughs> I have the Sweet Peach palette as well as the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette. So I bought this when it was released the second time and I really really wanted it. I was obsessed with it. I needed to have it. I begged and begged and begged someone to buy it for me and finally I just bought it for myself. So I don't know what my issue is with this palette but I've used it a few times. It's okay. I'm just not totally blown away by it. Um, the smell on the other hand I freaking love. I think my problem is is there are too many like satin finished eyeshadows, which is why I bought this one. Because there's really only like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-ish full mattes in here. And then the rest of them are these kind of like semi-shimmery, not really shades. Um, and I'm just not really into that. I like a full matte or like it needs to be glittery kind of person. And so I was just not really sure how to use this palette. I will say, like, there are some colors in here that, like, this color right here, like, army green is one of my favorite colors for the fall, and I want to figure out how to use this on my eyes so badly, but I just don't know how. And there are so many colors in here that I just want to love so badly, and I feel like part of it is me, like, I haven't given these shades, like, a good enough chance, so, I don't know, I definitely need to keep playing around with this. I feel like I've said this about every palette, but I love the way it smells, and it's just so pretty. So, I gotta keep playing with it. This palette, on the other hand, I really, really like. So, these two brown shades right here were, like, the only eyeshadows I would wear on my eyes ever a few years ago. Like, the only eyeshadows I would put on my eyelids. And I just, I, this palette stands out to me so much more because, yeah, it's a lot of just browns, but there are some, there's just so many different tones, and they all, it's very cohesive. I feel like you could make, like, a lot of cohesive looks out of this. Where in the peach palette, like, there's just something not cohesive about the colors. I don't know. I know they're all peachy, like, supposed to be peachy, but there's something that just, like, disconnects for me in this palette. I'm not to say that the colors aren't beautiful. They are. But it, it just doesn't connect well with me. But I love these colors. I love these two are my absolute favorites. I also love peanut butter right here. And where is it? Frosting. And rum raisin is another one of my favorites. I love a butter pecan to pop on the inner corners and my brow bone highlight. This palette was my one of my all-time favorites for such a long time. I really, really enjoyed it. I think Too Faced eyeshadows are really, really good. So moving on to my naked palettes. These were some of the first eyeshadow palettes that I ever owned. I think this one, to be exact, was the first eyeshadow palette that I ever really owned. I was obsessed like obsessed with these. It was creepy. Um, these were just like my life. Like they were the first palettes I ever owned. I thought that I was the shit because I had them. And I pretty much used them every single time I did my makeup. These two are my favorites. I love these palettes. Um, I don't reach for them as much anymore just because I've kind of grown up a little bit in the eyeshadow department. Um, well I think their eyeshadows are good. I don't think they're the best. And also I go more now for like a matte eyeshadow look, where in these palettes they're mostly metallics, so, you know, it's just not really what I wear anymore, but <laughs> I cannot bring myself to get rid of these because they were some of my first eyeshadow palettes, and even though I don't really use them anymore, it's still nice to look back and be like, oh, I remember when I used to love these colors. Uh, moving on to a naked palette that I despise is the Naked Urban Decay Smoky. I hate this. I, I hate this. I don't use that word often because there's not a lot of products that I hate. There are a lot of products that don't work for me, but just because they don't work for me doesn't mean that they're not good products. But this palette, I just think, is just... I don't know what they were thinking. The only shade I used out of it was this one because it was, like, the best inner corner highlight. But the rest of these shades just, like... I don't know. They just don't do it for me. They're just... They're too dark. So, I think if you're into, like, that really dark smoky eye, this would be a great palette for you, but like, I'm not. Have you ever known me or seen me wear really dark eyeshadow? No, never in my life have I ever done that. A, because I'm a scaredy cat, and B, because when you put black on, it just takes me back to a bad time in my life when I wore black eyeliner up to my eyebrows. 
Like it just it just was not good. So I normally I really I don't wear a lot of dark eyeshadow. Um <laughs> mostly because I don't know how to do it properly. And it always amazes me when people do it and look not like a crazy person like I used to look. So <laughs> This palette probably wasn't the best purchase on my part. <clears throat> I should have known myself and known that this wasn't something that was going to look good on me or my skin tone. But I had to have it because everyone did that with the Naked palettes. You had to have them. You just, you had to. So, yeah. This was just not a good purchase. But for some reason I can't get rid of it because I still really love this color. I wish they made the shade just by itself. So now we're going to move on to my smaller size palettes. There are a lot of them. Not really. Actually, eh, eh. Okay, so the first one is this Blink and BoxyCharm Electric Eyes Palette. Uh, why can't I? Oh, okay. And that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. Uh, I've never used it. I've swatched it. They're beautiful shadows. Very buttery. Never used it. I'm, I, <laughs> I have problems. I need to stop subscribing to um, subscription boxes. Because, yeah, I don't use these things. I hope one day I have the guts to use this eyeshadow somewhere on my lids or my eyes. Because it's beautiful. I think these shades are gorgeous. They complement each other. They're so pigmented. Um, I just really need to suck it up and use this eyeshadow palette. Next up is the um, Wet n Wild All Natural <laughs> Eyeshadow Palette. So this is what the palette looks like. This is a good dupe for the first Naked palette. Um, <clears throat> I actually really like these shades. I know they're very cool, which is not something I normally go for. But I think they're really pretty, and the fact that this palette is only $10, like, I don't mind keeping it in my collection and playing around with it because it was so cheap, it was so inexpensive. I love Wet n Wild's makeup. I think it's amazing for the price. Like, it blows my mind that these brands can make such good quality products for such a low price. Like, I don't know how they do it. But I really like this palette. If you're looking for a good dupe for the Naked Original, the Naked One, I don't know what they call it, um... <clears throat> I would definitely check this out. Obviously, it doesn't have all the shades, They're, and obviously not all of them are exactly the same, but enough of them are similar where you can make, like, similar looks with the palette. And this is the NARS Loaded palette, I believe it's called. And I love this palette. I had never really used NARS eyeshadows before, I don't think. I really don't think I had. Um, but I'd always seen them in those little, like, duos, and they always look so beautiful. And you know, when this palette came out, I was like... I need to own this. Like, it is, it is perfect. If I could come up with, like, my favorite shades, like, my, my go-to, like, this, like, if I could make a palette, this is probably what it would look like. Mine is, like, the black. But they're just, they're just so beautiful. And they're so buttery, and they're so easy to blend. I, I mean, obviously, I would hope. This palette is, like, $60. Which, I know doesn't sound too crazy, but, like, for some reason, that just really threw me off. I don't know why. <clears throat> but... The shades are beautiful, the shadows are amazingly pigmented. I love, 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 love this palette. It's really amazing. And this is another one that I love, love, love to travel with as well. Because, again, like, you have those mattes that are just easy to run into your crease. And um, then you have those, like, these, this, like, intense gold shade to pop on the lid. Like, I think even though the colors are... They, they seem like they're very neutral and, you know, like, warm-toned browns. You can still make some incredible, beautiful eye looks, especially when these, with these pops of color. So I love this palette. And then there are also, like, um, <clears throat> if you're more of a cool tone person, there are some, like, more cool tone shades, which I think was cool that NARS did. I like that it's a combination and not just one or the other. So I love this palette. <sighs> All right, moving on. Moving on. Let's get through this video. Next up is the Tarte. Just wait your turn. The Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette. And this came in a boxy charm. But I never tried any of these Tarte Rainforest of the Seas palettes. And I still haven't. I have not used this. I have not used this. It got thrown in this basket and I have not used it. But it is really pretty. I love these warm shades. <laughs> Again. Um, I think they're really pretty. I know this palette is like always on sale at Sephora. And like everyone's like eh. But um, <clears throat> it looks pretty. I want to use it. I have to put this up on my shelf again. You know why I didn't put it up on my shelf to use it? Because every time I put it in my file organizer, it would just... Bye-bye. It would just roll off my shelf. One night, I was sleeping in my bed, obviously, and I heard this loud bang, and I was like, what was that? It was this, rolling all the way off my shelf. I, thank God it didn't break. I probably would have been very upset. So I put it in the basket and haven't used it. But the colors are really pretty. I have swatched some of the eyeshadows, and they're really pigmented. They seem like they're good to... They seem like they're easy to blend. 
Um, I have used Tarte eyeshadows before and I really like them, so I'm excited to finally get to use this. <clears throat> Alright, let's move on to one of my favorite, favorite affordable eyeshadow palettes. This is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. Like, I saw Kathleen Lights talk about this and I was like, I need to have that. Why don't I own that? And I bought it and I brought it to Florida with me la this past March for like my spring break. And I use it every day. Like, these shades are so pretty. There isn't really like any matte shades. Um, but they do say that you can use these in your crease. So what I did literally every single day I was there, I would run like this brownie shade in my crease, pop this on the lid, and like be out the door. Like those two shades together are beautiful. It's just a really pretty like different palette. I never ever thought in my life I would be someone to like use these like, you know, they're not like your n n normal neutral colors. But they look really really pretty on the eyes and they're great shadows for, I think this palette was like, what, $8, $10? I don't think it was that much. And they're beautiful. So I would definitely go check this out at Wet n Wild. So these are the only MAC eyeshadows that I really own. Um, I bought this little palette when I was in New York once and I wanted like the big ones that they have. But I settled on this one because I told myself, why do you need that giant palette? Because I really don't. And I got so much use out of this. I loved this eyeshadow palette when I was in college. It was my go-to. This gold shade up here was like my like ride or die. Like I was obsessed with it. And since then, like my style has really changed. I don't really use a lot of cool tones anymore. I use a lot of warm tones. So it's kind of like fell out of my collection. But I really need to pull this out again because there are some beautiful, beautiful colors in here. And especially because I just mentioned that I want to expand and use more cool tones. And what I this is a great way to do it. Like I don't need to go out and buy a whole new palette. Like you have something in your collection that you could use. Hello, like use it. So I think I'm going to put this back up into my everyday palettes because this is a really great palette. I mean MAC has amazing eyeshadows. So next up is this Pacifica Island Life palette and I got this in a Nipsey. This is what it looks like. I've never used this. Ever. I think I'm gonna declutter this because I don't know it's just like why do I need to keep this in my collection. This It's not really something that you can make, I could make at least like a cohesive look out of. There's not really a crease color. They're all kind of like that satiny finish and they're just not really shades. I have like a ton of sh shadows that look like these in my collection so wow I actually got rid of something. Oh my god. Okay moving on. Next up is this NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Warm Neutrals. Who put the sticker on? It's completely crooked. So this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. It's all of my favorite tones in the world. I only use this once in our full face NYX and I don't know why, because it's a beautiful palette, like, it's it's really, really nice. These shades are beautiful. I need to pull this out and keep using it. Alright, oh, <laughs> probably the most expensive little palette that I own. I think this baby was $45 for six eyeshadows. <laughs> so this is the only Visart product that I own in my life, and this is what it looks like, and these shadows are beautiful. I love this palette. They are the creamiest, most blendable, most pigmented eyeshadows I have ever used in my life. I think it's great that they made like a very, they're very cohesive with each other, you can definitely like use them all together, but it's also, you could also see like the transition, so if you just wanted to go for a day look, you could just use these lighter colors, and then if you wanted to transition that look into night, you could deepen it up with like these deeper shades. I really really like that it's kind of like an ombre effect up to the top with these shades, and that they gave you mattes and shimmers. I think these little palettes are great if you... Uh, want to try out some of the Visart products and don't want to spend $80 on this like it was not even that big of a palette I think it's the same size as like this one. I think it's this big and it's like $80 <clears throat> But these shadows are incredible. Um, a visor is definitely a brand that I want to explore more eventually when I have the funds to do that um, I think their products are really really amazing based off my use of these. This is the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette It is just crumbling apart I don't know what is going on with this palette. So here's what it looks like. It just doesn't do much for me. When I bought it, it was that time in my life where I hadn't really been playing around with makeup that much yet. I hadn't really gone into the whole like difference between, you know, mattes and crease shades and all that. Um, which seems crazy to me now. Like that was only, what, four years ago that I really had no idea what I was doing. 
<laughs> and now I love makeup. But, so I bought this because the girl in Sephora had it on her eyes and it looked incredible, but you know, she's like a semi-professional makeup artist or professional makeup artist, I don't know. And yeah, she can make black eyeshadow look amazing. I cannot. I've learned that. You, I cannot make black, no matter what I do, I cannot make black eyeshadow work. It just doesn't work on me. So I bought this and it just, I don't know, it's just one of those things where like, you don't need this in your collection. I would much rather go out and buy this matte, this e.l.f. matte eyeshadow palette over this any day. I just feel like for the price that you're paying for this and you're only getting six colors, like, these two shades are basically useless. They're like brow bone highlights, which to be completely honest, I don't really do that often. And then this shade, like, is kind of the same thing. Like, all these shades that right here are so similar. They're just like, one's pinky, one's yellow, and one's like, kind of shimmery. Not even. It's like, kind of satiny. It's not even shimmery. So like, all those shades to me are just kind of throwaways. And then like, these two shades, like, yeah, you could use those in the crease. And then this, like, I, I'm just, I just can't use black eyeshadow. I just, I can't. So really, in all of these, there are two shades that I would use. And that's nothing against Urban Decay, I'm sure, or anybody who likes that palette, I'm sure it's good for some people who like light skin tone eyeshadows or like using those light eyeshadows on their brow bone or use them for something that I don't know that you should use them for. I'm not a professional, I don't know. Um, but it just wasn't functional for me, it just didn't really work out for me, so I was a little disappointed in it, but what are you gonna do? Sometimes things don't work out how you want them to. Alright, on to a little mini palette that I really like. Um, I had seen this at Sephora all the time, but I just like had never really gave it a second thought because it's a mini eyeshadow palette. There's six colors, so what are you gonna do with it? But she got it for me, and I used it a few- uh, well, I used it a lot, actually. And I was like, oh my god, this is incredible. Like, these shades in the middle here, the more shimmery shades, are amazing. Like, I'm obsessed with them. I literally brought this with me everywhere. It, it went everywhere with me. It's the type of eyeshadow palette that, like this one, it's only six shades, but there are so many more things you can do with this one. I mean, you have, like, so I would put, use this in the crease, even though it's a little, it's a little satiny, whatever. I'd use this in the crease, I'd deepen, like, a day look, okay. So a day look, I'd use this in the crease, pop this on the lid, I was good to go. If, for some reason, my friends are degenerates and we were going to go out on a Wednesday night, <laughs> I would use either of these shades to darken it up or to deepen it up and make it look smoky and sultry, and you'd be good to go. Like, all you needed in your life were these six eyeshadows, and you could do so many things with it. Alright, and last, but certainly not least, I cannot believe how long this video took me to film, is the Maybelline City Mini Palette in Rooftop Bronzes. This is what it looks like. <clears throat> I love this palette. I bought this purely to go with my matte palettes, like, if I wanted to travel and only wanted to bring little palettes, like, I would bring these together and I would be set. These shades are beautiful, um, I hadn't, haven't tried any of the other Cine Mini palettes, but this one is definitely my favorite. They're just really, really pretty bronze shades. They're all shimmery, so they're definitely not, like, crease shades or anything, but they're definitely pretty to pop on the lid, to use as a highlight. In the inner corner, I love these shades. I think they're beautiful. I think they did an amazing job with this palette. They're incredible. They're buttery. They're smooth. I love them. And that was it. <laughs> I got rid of two eyeshadow palettes. Two. Two is better than none. So, <laughs> thank you for joining me um, on this lovely excursion through my eyeshadow palettes. Um, it wasn't much of a declutter, but I had a feeling it wouldn't be, but thank you for uh, suffering through with me. I hope you enjoyed getting to see some of my palettes and which ones I like the best and kind of hearing my thoughts on some of them. Um, let me know if you like this idea of a series of kind of like my collection slash a declutter. Um, I want to do foundations next, so let me know what you think about that. But like I said, Lynn will be back next week. I think we're going to be doing a bunch of new stuff for you guys. I'm not even sure. I have to look at our schedule. I'm actually supposed to be doing that right now. Um, but she will be back. Don't worry. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you in our next video. Bye, guys.